Shoaib Malik opening. That is a, a welcome move. Well, IP seeing left arm medium pace, just 38 matches under his belt. I believe the Indians have been a bit lazy when they've come out to bowl their opening overs. I don't believe they've targeted this young man, Salman Butt, and they've just dished up a bit of rubbish to him early. So let's see what happens today. They've given it to IP Singh, who swings the ball away from him. That ain't to be close, and he's gone! What a beginning! R.P. Singh has really taken Salman Bhatt by surprise. Just late on the shot, just beaten by the pace. And Salman Bhatt, well, I've got goosebumps. It's incredible, the atmosphere here. About 40,000 people went up with this appeal, and that is Pulam. It's hit him in line, and it's hitting middle, middle and off. The height's perfect. It's gone to hit uh, middle and off stumps, I reckon. More middle. Hubro's just pulled up a bit short there. He's uh, he got the huge knee brace on. You know he's had trouble with that, uh, that left knee in the past. Oh, beautifully bowled. Went right across him. It's the angle, and maybe it's that ability of his to bowl cutters, which is so effective. Oh, that's that's beautifully done. I don't think there's any stopping that one. That's going to go for four. That's the first boundary for Pakistan. Again, erring in line, Irfan. Oh, that's been put down. Not the easiest of catches, but it is down all the same. 14 for one after four. Oh, there's a bit of a mix-up. That can be tied if he hits. Oh, just took, took a while, really, fitting that arrow in the ball. Ah, just that bit of room, and that is a splendid hit. That should give him a lot of confidence. He's trying to get on the front foot. It was in the slot, and away it went. Just wait. Just wait, Mahendra Singh Dhoni. We'll get to the boundary. Yunus Khan. So the intention was to open the face of the bat. Viramit. And he's going to make the bowler pay for it. Shoaib Malik finds the fence. Good hit. Down the grounds to break the shackles. Need boundaries, Pakistan. Here's one of them for Yunus Khan. Edged. Has he taken that? That's the question. It looks like he's going to check with his partner. And they might decide to go to the third umpire. And that'll be the right thing to do. Yes, I agree with you. They are going to consult as to whether Mahindra Singh Dhoni has caught it cleanly. Billy Dutcher standing at square leg will be consulted as to what his view, or what was discerned from his view. Well, that'll be a source of disappointment for the Indian players. Dhoni has gone straight to Billy Doctor to inquire as to what his view is. I'm happy that it was a definite sound. Now whether it carried it's interesting. Almost repeated. It was a slower ball as well, the one that was edged, and that's why there was a lack of carry as compared to this delivery. Have a look at the edge again. You can see him rolling his fingers over it. Looks like from that angle, the ball carried to the gloves. Yunus Khan getting a lifeline. And viewers might ask, why haven't they referred it to the television umpire? Well, they can only do that if both umpires consult. And if the square leg umpire, well, the umpires were obstructed in their view. Now, that angle there looked as though it might have bumped. It might have been a bump ball, not bump ball, but it might have hit the ground before going into the glove. Interesting. And Billy Duxrove would feel himself he had a clear enough view, at, so it wasn't referred. Still, it's a maiden over. Nicely played. Beautiful shot. Timing was right. Balance was good. Hitting on the up is never easy for a batsman, especially on a slowish drag. But how well Shoei Malik has done that. Oh, lovely touch. I spoke about the difficulty of using the pace on this pitch. Well, here was a perfect example when Yunus Khan got it absolutely right. Well, it was far enough away from square leg, but it was good timing from Yunus Khan. He's decided to ball over the wicket now. Got him. Once again, wicket at the right time. 
And that's his 200th wicket. What an achievement by Zaheer Khan. It's a great moment in his career, Zaheer Khan. There was a time when he probably thought he wouldn't get this. He was out of the Indian team for a while. He worked on his fitness, worked on his game. He's back in. He's a leader of the pack. And 200 won the international wickets is something to be proud of. Not something to be proud of for sure. Malik, he's gone for 31, 78 for two. Taking the aerial route, Midon was inside the ring, just one bounce, inches inside the boundary line, four, but the umpire's given it a six, just got the feeling looking at it in live motion, just pitched at least a few inches inside the boundary line. Gee, that looks like from this angle it went over the top, didn't it? This is better, just, in, just inside. He launched into it, and he's cleared the biggest boundary, great shot. I haven't attempted to go over the top all that much in this innings, but it's time now. So look at that, he goes underneath the ball to get the elevation. Could run away to the boundary, it's gone to the practice pitches, and it's gone to the boundary as well. The last three or four overs are proving to be very expensive for India. He's running hard, the throw is at his end. But he survives the scare, the attempt from, I think it's Irfan Patan. Oh, they're asking for a referral, so... It was a direct contact. Yunus Khan, sorry, Mohammad Yusuf really had to get there quickly. He had his bat grounded, so. Catch it! India taken by Yuvra, soft dismissal. India have broken through. They picked up Yunus Khan, who is looking deadly dangerous. Big wicket. Yunus Khan, the danger man. Well set on 68, just closing the face of the bat too early. Playing against the turn, just holding up, not really turning, just the leading edge and a sitter accepted with glee big breakthrough pakistan three down for 129 the new man is shahid khan afridi he's an interesting choice very good strike rate Outside. oh given by the umpire i thought it was missing the stumps ganguly has picked up his hundredth one day wicket and that too of shahid afridi shahid afridi was uh, dismissed for just one but Ganguly will be pretty satisfied with the, how this over has shaped up for him he's picked up Shahid Afri this week looking for that lap sweep he was uh, uh, this may just confirm the decision yes would have gone on to the stumps Tendulkar has some work to do can he do it no the 35 year old legs can't get across I think even a Safa Powell would have failed to get to that but then smiles in frustration more than anything else has this got enough on it? It's gone into the crowd. It's not the biggest ground. And the timing of the six is welcome too. Starts off with a slow delivery, which is not a bad thought at all, Bruce. They need 250. They get 250 here, Pakistan. They're in with a chance. That's another good delivery. Well, that's beautifully played over cover. This is the role I'd like him to embrace. Just uh, go aggressive at both ends. Goes for a big drive. And has it been taken by Ganguly? R.P. Singh is anxiously uh, trying to confirm from Ganguly. has crossed it. And they didn't run. That was a great attempt. He nearly got hold of that. It was on its way up. He plays that shot beautifully, that lofted cover drive, and uh, just couldn't quite hold it. This is not good from Ahmed Yusuf Ganguly, certainly at this stage of the game, saving runs for his team. He's always uh, looked in a perturbed manager. Very serious look. Great strike, brilliantly done, it's a six. Gone the distance, Miss Bowlhuck knows how to hit the ball in the air. Is such a strong hitter. And what a welcome relief for Pakistan. It's gone a long way. Down on one knee to get underneath it. Oh, bowling. Clean him up with a slow delivery. Irfan Patan has bowled splendidly well, especially in the last part of this innings. Yeah, smart bowling. Very smart indeed. Around the wicket, angle in, backed it off. It's the off break. And it was actually through him. Didn't get the width that he wanted. Misbah Ulhaq haq bowled Patan for 40. Uh, Zahir Khan there who uh, came in and uh, 
throws in Henderson Tony didn't whip the bales off bad return from Zahir Khan on the bounce to to the keeper always difficult to uh, take but he is still smiling I think he tried to hit the stumps he knew that if he hit the stumps he'd probably have him and it just wasn't quite right for the take for Donny there he is he has a go had he hit gone so it was worth the chance Oh, beautifully played in the end the final leg was up in the ring he was aiming for that area for a very long time in the end he's been successful edge and that's gone for a four that'll do it for uh, Soil Tanvir MS Tony had no hope with this edge it flew off his bat well you swing the bat hard and sometimes you get lucky he'll take that at least he's having a go wasn't such a bad delivery a fine nick it would have gone to the keeper just got enough bat on it Slow delivery, he's gone for the appeal and he's picked up another wicket. Terrific bowling from Zaid Khan. Slowed it up and confused the batsman. Soil Tanvir is out of here. He's bowling around the wicket. Where did this pitch? It's pitched in line and straightened. Beautifully bowled. Roll his fingers across the ball and that is out. Goes for the big one, Kamran Akmal, but it'll be difficult for him really to connect a six straight away he's just arrived at the crease three balls and two runs so the onus is on uh, Muhammad Yusuf really to uh, make sure that uh, the last two balls don't go waste that's more like it that's gone that's the six terrific strike from Yusuf he's inching towards his hundred on 97 now he's got one more ball to uh, get to his hundred 250 comes up as well well that's now competitive He's done it twice. He's got two hundreds of the last ball of the innings. Hitting sixes. Both times he was on 94 and uh, got a couple of sixes to get to his hundreds. Oh, good delivery. Yorker from RP Singh. He's making Kamran Akmal come back for the second. They'll pinch that second run. He's on 99 not out. The innings comes to an end. Pakistan, 255 for six. Have they got enough on the board? Shwe Bakhtar bowling. Big wicket taker strike rate of 29 balls per wicket. Tendulkar he made his debut 18 years ago in international cricket. Highest number of one-day internationals by any player. Most number of runs. Can't ask for anything better. The same day, 18 years ago, made his debut in international cricket against Pakistan. Got straight in line. Tendulkar will get off the mark with a glorious shot. That's captain's nightmare. He has placed two slips, quite a few fieldsmen on the offside, and he wants Swebachter to bowl offside line. Not there. He likes to free himself through the offside, and what a start. Was of a fuller leg, and sweet timing. Is taken. Flirting with danger yet again, and Swebachter has provided the breakthrough that he's done so very often, right through the series at the top. time another big appeal the height factor might come into play a long appeal and everyone around was convinced it's going to be extremely interesting and he signaled leg buys as well it's going to be a very interesting replay because i thought it might have been the case of inside edge onto the pad but he was jumping in the crease and the height might have saved him Excellent decision, you have to say that. Stunning shot. Take that from the little master. It's the first time he has bought shot to Sachin Tendulkar. And suddenly he's been reminded, not the right length. He was onto that one in a flash. Boundary written all over the shot. Ends the over, 30 for 1. What a shot! Tendulkar seems to have found the pace of the pitch and has gotten his footwork quite correct. What a shot! He's showing his class against uh, a real quality pace. In position early and that flick of the wrist and away it went very quickly across for another four. He's playing that uh, lovely flick shot through square leg. But you can certainly see the difference uh, between Sachin and the wrist. from uh, a shot and run up Shweb after and beating Sachin with that little bit of extra bounce 
Oh boy. Oh, the little man is in marvelous form. This crowd has paid recent money to come in and they'll want to see this innings extended for as long as possible. Majestic drive, really uh, showing us his, uh, his class. That's the shot. That is the shot that makes a bowler cringe. His timing is superb and that puts so much pressure on the bowler. Taken, miscued that pull shot. Gautam Gambhir makes an exit, an early one. And Pakistan have picked up another wicket. Now wickets are going to be crucial. And he's cursing himself because he's pretty decent with that pull shot. Gone for three. Everything worked well for Pakistan on that occasion. Catch was nicely taken by Sohail Tanvir. Just look at that. Look at that. Just feed him the strike. Just allow him to keep going. Well, this is batting at its best, really. And in no time, the 50 is raised. Look at that. That is a resounding straight drive. Beautifully timing the ball. It really has been uh, a classic so far from the little master. Oh, too much width given. Far too much width. And one thing about great players is that they'll find the gap as tiny as it is. More frustration for Shweb Malik. Now, this really was a tremendous shot because there was hardly any gap between those fielders. Omar Gul, uh, well, he thought he had bowled a pretty decent delivery, but... Four more, 50 for Sachin Tendulkar. The crowd roar. It's a brilliant one. And that's not an overstatement. 68 for two. Oh, what a shot. Breathtaking. He's flicked that off the front foot, maybe around the off stump. And that's sped away to the boundary. That's a good shot. Nobody's moved. It's four from the moment it left the bat. 87 for two. Magnificent. That is Sehwag <laughs> of old. He comes and joins the party. Didn't try and over hit that one, Bruce, but it really sped away. He saw that early enough, I tell you. Stunning shot. <laughs> Very cheeky, getting a long way across. He likes to play this shot, but he's the kind of player who's looking in such very good form, doesn't need to try it. Loud appeal for a leg before. I think he was just struck outside the line of off stump. Conclusive proof that virtual eye insists that it would have gone on to miss the stumps anyway. Not a bad shot, that's gone a long way, it's gone all the way. Look at air time. Oh, magnificent Sewag, 105 for two. It's not a big turner with the ball, so no danger of hitting against the turn. It's the last delivery of the last to the far place. Well, well done, good thinking, good execution. Inside out. Tendulkar, and well, he's the genius at work today. I think Tendulkar is in that mood tonight. His full range of shots are coming out. Another beauty. Full length delivery. Most batsmen would have played front foot defense. But look at the quality of the shot. Tendulkar bat like this although he played a beauty in Mohali look at this the shot says it all the best shot he's played so far in this innings getting his front leg out of the way and nobody could see the ball it just sped away to the boundary with sixes just like that wait for the loose delivery put them away that's much, much better. Three fielders behind point, and he still manages to find the gap and find the gap with pace. tendulkar has been marvellous, but uh, I tell you what, Sivak has played a couple of beauties. Running the first one hard, Sivak. He wants to. Robert Tata, the fielder. The running has been good on the last occasion. The captain's not happy. He tries on the little bit of it. A bit of an inside edge. A little lucky, but he will get a boundary. He's been so dominant and being for a little bit of fortune. 
a mini bouncer from Omar Gold. We saw him bowl some uh, fabulous bounces in Mahali on that uh, terrific cricket pitch there. Goes for the slash. Sevag will pick up a, a four. 100 partnership, 149 for two. Bouncer from Shweb Akhtar. This fellow has got to come and bowl a quick spell, Shweb Akhtar. I thought he was disappointing in the last over. He banged that in. Over the point fielder, they run away to the boundary. He's uh, pushed himself into the 90s on 93. I'll bet you he doesn't try to hit one for six, but I don't think he'll fiddle around. I think that was intentional. He got underneath the ball and lifted it over the infield. Yes. Brilliant cricket. Shubb's making out that he's just missed. <laughs> he's just missed a wicket. It's 150 up, 153 for two. And two more balls remaining in this over. And Tendulkar's on 93 and on strike. Slow delivery has been uh, hit back, and I think it's got Shweb Akhtar on his leg. <laughs> How would you feel? You've charged in, you've given it everything you possibly can, and it <laughs> tried to bowl at 100 mile an hour, and it probably came back even quicker. And got him in the shin, <laughs> the bottom of the shin, or maybe the ankle bone. That hurts. He's running hard, direct hit. I think he's got him. Shweb Malik is the fielder and he's, uh, he's a very good fielder. The crowd certainly have uh, gone very silent. But good work from Shweb Malik. He had to collect the ball, then run in aggressively and hit the stumps, which he did in the end. Direct hit. Definitely gone. He played well. Oh, yes. Oh no, she said. She wanted a 50 for him. He deserved a 50. He played well. Oh, ball him! Wow, can you believe it? Six time he's been dismissed in the 90s. And his son was absolutely right. When on 94, go for the six. 16 time dismissed in the 90s. Sachin Tanulka in one day career. I am so disappointed, and so are tens of thousands. Of others gone for 97, it's 159 for four. The only replaces such in Tenduka. Oh, that is exquisite. That is the area which really peppers, connects so sweetly. Extra cover boundary. Oh, magnificent. Just that trifle short, and he's dismissed it. Four more. You clear to see this. And that is a good shot, that's going to run away for a four. Yuvraj is really turning on the heat now. Vain dive, vain effort from Mohammed Yusuf, who batted well for his half century earlier. Oh, that is power. Full toss on the leg stump, and Dhoni's put it away. Very good shot in finding the gaps. That's clearly struck. And you know what happens when Mahindra Singh Dhoni strikes them. It's the pace he bowls with, allows the batsman to score freely against him, especially on a flatter track. If the ball is turning on a pitch, he can be a difficult bowler to handle. He has to learn a different trick. Good running once again, look at that. Two shot, asking for trouble. Just a pace of 139, not as quick as got to 153 today. Shoy Bakta. But Yuvraj Singh plays the shot superbly well. Well, there was a touch of arrogance there. And to hit a fast bowler in front of mid wicket, that's a mean effort. Once he gets in, he's a very dangerous player. Well, that's what happens to you as a batsman if you have a longish back lift. Another boundary. This time for Dhoni. Just expected this the last few runs that India will have to get. Will come in boundaries. Nine runs already in this over. To finish off this series in style. Salman Bhatt. 
And he's been taught a lesson straight away by Yuvraj Singh. Don't bowl that length to me, Salman. Half tracker, too easy for Yuvraj Singh, who likes the mid wicket area. Look at the use of bottom hand. He's never looking to hit it into the ground. He was always looking to hit it into the crowds against Pakistan over a thousand runs. That suggests to me that he's a sort of a player who could handle the pressure very well. Yeah, India Pakistan is all about pressure. Another half century in one international when it mattered for Yuvraj Singh, the vice captain. That's the thing, they were not easy for the Indian team when he arrived at the crease. But he handled the pressure very well once again. And he's been rewarded for his effort. Yet another 50 in one day cricket. Mahindra Singhoni ends the over 250 for four. Mahindra Singhoni will look to finish it off with a big hit. He's having a good time with the bat. He's had a good time with his captaincy. In the air and finishes off the series win. In a delightful manner, Mahindra Singhoni. India get an unbeatable lead of 3-1, but 6 also bringing up the 100 partnership. Well, the Indians, they have outplayed the Pakistanis in every department. You talk about batting, bowling or fielding. They've been exceptional. That's a great effort. And one has to give uh, the credit to the entire team because they have played according uh, to the jobs that were given to them. And in the end, their hard work has paid. Dejected Pakistanis. And India will celebrate. They know how important this series win will be. I'm sure Malik very disappointed. It really was a top quality game from India. They pocketed a home series. First of all, I'd like to introduce uh, the Pakistan captain to the presentation uh, ceremony, Ashwab Malik. Well, it was a tough call. Um, you were uh, obviously a few runs lighter in the first innings. I think our better did well, especially Yusuf Bhai and Yunus Khan. But uh, we, we were not good with the new ball. We give we given too much, uh, too many runs. That's why. And uh, the new factor also hit you quite uh, badly. But you always knew that batting first, uh, you could face that problem. Well. Uh, Due was not the main factor and uh, I think 255 was defendable and uh, we given too, too many runs early on and that's why that, that makes a difference. The man of the match award selected by the uh, commentary team and uh, it was Sachin Tendulkar for his uh, brilliant 97. Player of the match trophy to be presented by Mr. Amitwa Chatterjee and the extra premium player of the match check to be presented by Mr. Shivraj Singh Chauhan. And the check as well, uh, Sachin. This is his 56th Man of the Match award. Sachin Tendulkar, if you're kind enough to have a few words with us. Well, you uh, clearly had an expert at home. Uh, your son told you to hit a six when you were on 94. You didn't listen to his advice. No, I mean, I, I think most most satisfying thing is that we've won the series today and we've won the match. That's what matters to me. I know these, these all, all these things are part and parcel of the game, though it has uh, got into that wrong habit of getting out in the 90s, but it, it really doesn't matter. The more I think about it, the more it's going to be a problem. But something that really matters and counts for me is, is uh, the victory for India, and that is what we've been able to achieve, so I'm extremely happy. Well, terrific start to your uh, captaincy, Mahendra. Uh, 2020 uh, victory and now this win against Pakistan after 24 years. Terrific effort. Well, obviously, it's reckoned to be a big series when you're playing against Pakistan, that too, in, in the home series, especially when you have won the 2020 against and the, you know, the final was between the two teams. So, of course, I think, I think it was a good team effort and I think Sachin was brilliant throughout the series, Yuvraj Singh. I think the bowlers, they contributed in part. So, I think overall it was a, a good team effort. Another important partnership between uh, Yuvraj and yourself, you seem to be, a, uh, you know, on a roll as a pair. 
Well, definitely it's, it's an important spot. You know, UV bats at four and I bat at five and some matches he bats at five and me and six. So I think that's one of the most crucial areas. And of course, as I said it in the past also, I want him to bat, you know, after the 20th over, I want him to bat till the 50th over. And I think if he, if he bats for the amount of time, then, then he'll get you know, a lot of lots of run for the team. And he runs well and he's an aggressive player. He rotates the strike. So overall, he's a good package and if he plays for 30 overs, I think he'll get around 80, 80 odd runs every day.